What's going on y'all? This is Nate from Nate and Yo State. We're here for a short time, not for a long time. Let's get into this video. This is the Denitis Travel Backpack. This holds up to 40 pounds. I call this a quick access pocket. Things that you're gonna need quick. Of course, always take the scenic route. I have my passport card, my passport book, global entry card, and additional IDs up in there in case I need that for any type of travel, all right? Bum. Cool. This will be our multifunctional pocket. Boom, where we have pens, you can put like business cards, a key holder that's detachable, and then you're good to go. Multifunctional pocket is popping because you can put whatever you want up in there, you know what I'm saying? And then of course, I always have the towel tracker up in there with my keys, so if I detach this, I have this with me. I like to always have this when I'm renting a car, and when I have the rented keys with me, I like to snap it in there so that way I have it with my bag and I'm good to go, you feel me? Boom, you can track your entire bag with that tracker in there. I like that. Moving along, so the next compartment is the laptop compartment. Boom, laptop compartment. Of course, you got your nice strap that goes with it. The laptop goes into this pocket. Tablets or whatever have you goes in this pocket. Ultimately, this laptop pocket ends up being my tech pocket. Right? My camera gears go up in here. My external hard drives go up in here. This is the most convenient pocket. It fits nice, large laptops traveling on the go it does its job it fits in nice and snug and you strap it in there like so this is a pretty convenient nice snug pocket cool moving along we got ourselves water bottle holders all right so these water bottle holders in my honest opinion is relatively small of course once you zip it up it can fit the small ones you're good to go with that and then if you unzip it it can hold larger items it can hold larger water bottles i think that's good right but that's the problem that I have with this one. This doesn't hold larger ones as easily and conveniently as the other bag that I reviewed the other day. As our boy over here. Because look, these pockets are deep. This can fit anything. Boom. And if I drop it on its side, it doesn't fall out. I love the pockets on this bag that I reviewed the other day. But with this one, the pockets are relatively small. I don't like them per se, but it's, it's still useful nevertheless. You know what I'm saying? Just that if it's on the side, best believe that things is gonna fall out. And not only that, I do have to point out that this has only one water bottle holder compared to my other one that has two water bottle holders. But this is particularly made to be a carry-on bag. The reason why you don't have another one because that slot is reserved for this area. This is supposed to be the main compartment of the bag. You see, that's why it does not have another water bottle holder. The zippers go all the way around. Let's open this bad boy up. Bomb. All right, so you see inside, it is nice and spacious, bro. You have yourself two other holders where I like to put my medicine stuff and like some toiletries over here. I have my deodorant. And this compartment over here, I like to keep things like liquids, things I can spill, because many a times does your boy Nate have some things that he puts into carry on and they get squished up and you should see liquid all over my bag or if it falls on the floor and you just see something squirt out but th this thing in particular is meant to keep liquid inside all right so you're not going to get no spillage or anything so i keep anything that's wet my wet wipes my rubbing alcohol my lotions toothpaste pocket liquids pocket water i put that in there you know what i'm saying mouthwash that's what that main compartment's for this will be like medicines, first aid, whatever have you. The beauty about this thing is that it carries a whole lot of space. And remember, this is a travel bag, so it's meant for you to carry luggage. You know what I'm saying? You have straps to hold it down on place. So if you want to travel, you put one of those bad boys in, you strap it down. Boom. All right, once you're ready to go, close that bad boy up, and up, Damn. you're good to go. All right? So moving along, you notice that this has a handle. This can actually transform into just a regular carry-on bag, literally, where you just unclip the shoulder straps of the bag right here, and then you just shove it in this small pocket right here. Out of sight, out of mind, out of sight. Shoulder straps are nice and hidden. This makes it easier for your carry-on strap too. If you have a carry-on bag, you just slide that in there like so and you're good to go for travel or if i'm leaving i just grab this right here don't have to worry about the straps getting into the way bada bing bada boom you're good to go you can actually add some straps too i don't know i just think that this is meant to keep your things more secure or tighten things up a bit that's one two boom i like it 
So this is a pretty nifty bag. If you pack your bags properly, you can get away with going through Spirit Airlines, Frontier, whatever small companies that like to haggle you down trying to check your bag, because this will actually pass the carry-on check. Oh, is this a carry-on bag or a personal bag? I know I'm outing out a lot of people who use this bag, but I gotta tell you, this can easily pass as a regular personal item because of how nifty and small it is. Granted, if you don't overpack that is. If you pack it like this, you should be fine as a personal item for this bag. Just put it in there. They want to ask you to measure it. And of course, because it's not much stuff, it's compressible. So that way it can fit in and then you can have a free personal bag. Or if you stuff it up a lot, you get yourself a nice carry-on bag. You feel me? This bag worked wonders. This was for my second round of Columbia. I bought this bag because I, yo, round two Columbia, I'm going to be having a lot of stuff. This bag saved me wonders. Another reason why I like it too, because it has extra hoops in the zippers. And I like that because you already know Nate. Nate likes an extra layer of security. You feel me? You hit that in there, boom. All right. So once you hook that in, you should be good to go. Perfect for TSA. So that is the quick review. I hope you guys like this video. If you fill in this bag and you think that you want to get something like this, I will leave the link to this bag in the description down below if you're interested in it. I personally swear by it. I like it. There could be some other things that can be improved. I do want my second water bottle holder. At least put it right here. You feel me? I will put a second water bottle holder over there because it'll make sense for the strap to hold it down anyway. So I would like a second water bottle holder if there is a bag that has that, but that's just me. You know what I'm saying? This one will suffice, but it's too small. I would like this to be a little longer or I don't know. There's not, I don't think this needs that much zipper room. You feel me? What do you guys think about this video? Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want to look at the video that is related to stuff like this and travel gear, I have a link to the video over here.